last week's vlog ended with us riding down the street headed to our vacation destination and where did we end up be going we went back to hilton head south carolina y'all we really like hilton head but you know like always when we go on vacation your girl has to make a stop at home goods so there are actually three home goods in this route going down to hilton head there's one in savannah there's one, I think it's in Bluffton, South Carolina, and then there's one on Hilton Head Island. So this is actually the one on Hilton Head Island, and it actually is probably like a three-minute drive from our hotel. So we started here, and there were, they had a lot of nice things in um, the store. I was looking for those gold plates. You guys remember the gold plates that I picked up August from here, and... Um, I just knew that I was going to be able to find another set of four in Atlanta. Never did. And of course, they did not have them here either. But I love those ball that Bollister pillow, the black and white. I also love this one as well. It will be great. And I absolutely adore these pillows here. They were gorgeous. Now, y'all know I do use black and gold in my house. But that's not what I wanted. I should have gotten those pillows so y'all know. Here we go again. <laughs> I should have bought it. They also had these cute little ball pillows here. Just adorable and as well as like the knotted pillows. Now, I really like these throws here. I was actually in um, looking for a throw, and I wanted like the checkered, but I wanted it in a, like a brighter green color. And once again, I'm really not looking for pillows to go with those pillows from Ross, but I <laughs> low-key, I really am. And I didn't see anything that um, I like. I intended to bring the pillows with me, but I left them at home. So I'm just looking around, seeing what other items they had. We made it to the hotel. We're staying at the Hilton Home Two Suites on Hilton Head Island, and we love this hotel. It is very clean. Um, the staff is very nice. We stayed here in August when we came for the first time, and I just had to go back. My experience was just that good then, and it was amazing this time as well. The beds here is what draw, drew me back here because this bed is so comfortable. I looked it up, the bed is very expensive, but I told you guys about this bed. It is amazing. Love Hilton Home Two Suites. Mr. B is putting our bags up. And now it's the next morning. We're out to breakfast. I think this place is called <laughs> Pancakes. And everything was very good. And Mr. B had um, scheduled us two couples massages. Peter was amazing. And I think her name was Ann, who gave Mr. B his massage, was really good as well. We spent a lot of time looking around the island, and one thing that we had to do was spend some time beachside. You know, that is what always attracts me to any place. If it is along the water, I am going to want to be there. So this day, we are headed to um, Colgany Beach. And, oh my goodness, it wasn't too crowded. The um, weather was perfect. Matter of fact, let me share with you our views and our thoughts for that day. Here at our favorite place. Absolutely gorgeous. Perfect day. Nice breeze, not too hot. They go, Mr. B, chilling. Yes, perfect. We almost stayed in today. 
it looked overcast but it is oh it's just it's the perfect temperature yes we got some good massages we're very relaxed y'all need to go if you ever in Hilton Head South Carolina Hilton Head Island you need to go to Sunny Spa ask for Peter what's your girl name was Nancy oh and Peter was the bomb oh my god I feel so good my calves don't hurt anymore my back doesn't hurt anymore oh and we had a 90 minute massage and it was worth every yes we had a hot stone massage it was every worth every penny of it thank you Mr. B for my massage we had couples massage hey this is our 20th we gotta do it right we got 20 year anniversary doing it big no, I can't believe I've been with him 20 years. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Y'all see you welcome to Wani House. Hey, Miss V, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Miss V, she doesn't I don't know what you're talking about. Y'all see that pretty chocolate morsel of a woman that is be smiling and welcoming. I'm like that all the time. I'm like that all the time. <laughs> Don't listen, Miss Perry. Yeah. So, so this morning we had we went to what pancake what? Stack yeah, stacks pancakes. It was so good. I showed a picture of it. It was the I had the creme brulee. I am bougie, whatever. Creme brulee, French toast with the um, turkey sausages. Mr. B had uh, oh, meat man. lovers, meat lover. you know, a meat bowl. Lover yeah. Meat lover pancakes. He had every kind of meat in that with the eggs, the scrambled eggs and cheese, and then he had pancakes. He didn't even eat all his pancakes. His pancakes were good because they gave him a lot in that bowl. That bowl was, it was huge. It was huge. So definitely um, worth it. And I don't know what I think we're gonna have Jamaican food. I don't know what we're going out for dinner. Yeah, we're gonna do something special for for our 20. I don't know where we're going, but we're gonna go and probably have something, some dinner somewhere on the ocean. And then, yes, and then tomorrow we're going. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We yeah, will figure it out. And then Monday. Yeah, we're here, yeah. So, yes, we do. We'll figure it out. But right now, we're just chilling and relaxing exactly what we I wanted to do. They're not ready for all that. Not, ready for you got to ease it to them slowly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're not ready. They ain't ready for the 18th battle. Okay. <laughs> So when we came out of Stacks, a young man was um, had a booth outside of the restaurant, and he said that he would give us two hundred and fifty dollars to go to this vacation sales pitch that lasted ninety minutes. Mr. B was like, "Okay, we'll go." And guys, this is one of their um, villas, one of their rentals. Now I will say, before Mr. B and I came here, I was looking online because. I, I really loved Hilton Head, the island, South Carolina, and we were talking about moving and possibly getting like a condo there, and that's where we can kind of go to um, during the um, summer months or whatever, and then um, rent it out during the other times, you know. And so, and then eventually we might decide to retire there. And so when this came up. You know, I was like, I wasn't interested in this at all, but I wanted the $250. But this, um, the salesman for this, um, he was very, very persistent. And he got upset because he couldn't get me to budge on this. It was pretty much like a timeshare. And I asked the questions, how can this make me money? Because I want to make money. If it's mine, I can make money. 365 days 52 weeks a year minus the weeks that we would be there and i would have already covered the mortgage for the year by someone else staying in it he got so <laughs> irate with me but i must say that this is very nice you see it's a two-bedroom 
um, two baths. You have your washing machine and dryer. You have um, a full kitchen. And then on the other side, there's a kitchenette. It was very nice if that's what you wanted to do. I just was not interested in this. And he couldn't make me see how it could benefit me monetarily. And so at the end of the day, when he saw that he wasn't going to be able to get a sale, he was like, well, I don't want to tell you how you can make money doing this because you can't, sir. You, you can't. And he didn't he didn't make any commission off of me. But um, this was a really nice unit. We are I looked online prior to us coming down here. They had um, some really nice two bedroom, two bath condos that we were interested in. So hmm, we may be moving y'all. Now, so we're leaving and he's showing us some of the other amenities that the units come with. And um, when he saw that I wasn't budging, he commenced to talking to Mr. B. And as we're walking up here, Mr. B sees the sign that says, do not feed the alligators. And I was like, alligators, no alligators here. And you guys are going to see an alligator momentarily. Um, I'm going to share it with you. And then you see the alligator there? And he says, we keep them that size. And I was like, you keep them that size? I was like, mm, another lie you telling. How are you going to keep an alligator a, a certain size? Yeah, right. All right, dude. You, you're really not making any sense. But like I stated, the um, property was beautiful. And if it was a condo community in which I could um profit off of it and where we could profit make a profit off of it and then come here when we wanted to um a couple of times a year and during the other time we can um use it as an airbnb it would be great but as like a vacation and some type of like um timeshare vacation club that's what they call them now vacation club package i wasn't interested So this is us walking back to the office and to get our check. And then after that, we took some of that money and we went out to dinner. Thank you very much for the um, the check. We ate at the Crazy Crab. This was lunchtime. You say what? No, and the soup, spot soup, was crab, soup, beautiful. That's low key for gumbo. Oh, I want a cup of that. friends okay so today is Thursday we're headed back to the office today obviously we're back from our vacation I don't know why vacations away seem to go by so fast and they seem it seems to take forever to get here um so today is Thursday back in the office and um, I'm actually, I need to go and pick up some linen for a vendor for um, an event tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually um, graduation. So um, these past three days that I've been back, three, four days, four days, um, they've been busy. So anyway, there was an accident on the freeway that took me forever to get around. And I should have followed my first instinct and just gone to like my next exit. I would have bypassed it all. But anyway, so now that's put me behind a little bit by 45 minutes. And then I have meetings <laughs> and I have a site visit. So um, today is definitely going to be a busy one. So, um, this weekend is our Cinco de Mayo, um, little get together that we're having. And I know like a lot of Mexicans they don't even celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Y'all know we always looking for a reason to get together. Not that I have to have a reason, but I just thought it would be cool and fun to do something themed. 
So the the great news is <laughs> we're we gonna have the event anyway. The bad news is it's gonna rain. So um, I was hoping to have like everyone outside to do outside and yeah, that's not gonna happen unless it rains early and then in the afternoon it breaks up. So if it was 30% chance of rain, I'd be like, oh yeah, we'll be good. Because I tell you guys, I live in the desert. And so when it rains in the city of Atlanta, nine times out of 10, we're not gonna get it. But it says 50% chance of rain. So that means my chances of getting some precipitation are huh, almost like, yeah, y'all gonna get wet. So, um, I'm hoping that if it comes through, it comes through early, and then that gives me a time, <laughs> I'm sorry, to um, still get outside ready. If not, that's fine, you know, we can, we'll, we'll be inside. Now, I don't like being inside because y'all know how my downstairs is. I will more than likely use my dining room table, maybe, or I might use the credenzas for the food setup. And it just depends. It, it, it's dependent on a lot of things. So we'll see how all of that goes and what I decide to do and how the weather, if it um, decides to hold off or do something because your girl is trying to have an event y'all i was so excited about this now and this puts off other things because my lawn guy came last week but we wanted him to come back this week to you know cut the grass i needed to go and get some stuff i still need to go and get things for for the front porch um, because I still have my old dead ferns there that needs to be cleaned up and I need to decorate that so I'll be sharing that with you guys but um, now that we won't be going outside this time I don't think um, it'll just I just have to get downstairs you know presentable and it is but I just still have a lot to do because I still have to um, cook. I still have to go to the store to get the items that I need to cook. I need to do my front porch. I need to go to the um, probably to Lowe's. Part of me wants to get up early Saturday morning and go to Lowe's and then I will probably go to um, Aldi's get everything that I need and start doing all of that. I think that's what I'm going to have to do because tomorrow I have an event and it won't end until late. So I can't do anything tomorrow. Today might be the only day that I may be able to go to the store. Maybe yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I will think about all of that when I get off of work and we'll see what our next stop will be. Good thing is I don't have to cook today so I can do that and then I need to record a video for tomorrow. I do have some things I want to share with you guys in the haul so I think tomorrow's video will be a haul and then of course this video um, will probably be like my Sunday vlog or something like that my weekly blog and i re release it on sunday anyway i am almost oh because i have to go around the world i forgot y'all they're doing <laughs> construction all on the streets and my normal way of going to this vendor i have to go around the world to get there instead of going straight so if I did not pay attention I would have been in my parking deck real easily because I definitely would have forgotten alright so I will see you 
guys later on today. So I made it to Lowe's, guys. This day is the first day of their new sale. So when you see this, this sale will actually be on. They have ferns now, two for $24. It's not better than the sale last week um, when they had two for 20 But these ferns do look better. Um, but if you go to Roses, you have a Roses near you, they have ferns there as well. And I think they are $14 a piece. So you're going to pay a little bit more, but they, they look um, a lot better. They, they were um, standing straight up. They also had a lot of, of their annuals and perennials on sale. Their herbs are on sale this week, three for $10. They have um, two for $16, two for $20. And y'all know I had to go into the clearance area to, to see what I could find back there that was marked down because I've done very well these past couple of years with my clearance florals, bringing them back to life. Matter of fact, the two hand hydrangeas, well, one of the hydrangeas that I planted, it was one that was um, marked down at Lowe's. I love their clearance section. So upcoming in the next weeks, we are going to get outside. I wanted to have these things done before our party. We'll see if I can make that happen or not. But if not, when I begin to work in these areas, I will definitely take you guys along. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and end today's video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. If you like what you've seen, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads. You can also check me out on my Instagram, my Facebook, my TikTok, all of those social medias I can be found at Wani's house. Hit the follow button and then you will be in the know as to what is to come over here at Wani's house. All right, guys, so I'm about to go. But before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.